Hello everyone, I am Narc Survivor. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Before I begin, please hit the thumbs up button down below to show your support. Hit subscribe and click on notifications to be notified when I upload a new video. And if you would like to book a one-on-one -on -one coaching session with me, just go to my website, it is narcsurvivor.co.uk. What happens when a narcissist knows you figure them out? When you've reached an understanding of their actions, motives and personality. When you know who they are. When you know what they're about. When you see a narcissist for who they really are, you're never going to be able to unsee it. Because now you've woken up. You see things differently now. And you recognize that this is how things actually are. Because their behaviors are constantly validating your ideas, concepts and experiences. And only if you saw different behaviors would you then change your perception of them. So now that you've woken up, your perception of the narcissist is based on reality. You're seeing them how they actually are, rather than how they wanted you to view them. And once you've seen them how they actually are, you can't see them in a different way. Unless their behaviours change in a positive way. Because now you recognise when they're manipulating you. You recognise when they're gaslighting you. And you recognise their dysfunctional behaviours. When there was a time before you woke up and had this realisation. When you accepted their behaviours. Or you didn't understand what was going on. But when you do wake up, you realise just how toxic they are. You understand that they're a narcissist. And when you realise that, you may wish you could go back to how things were. Because you don't like how it feels. You feel dumb. You feel foolish. You feel like you've been taken advantage of when it's actually not your fault because you didn't know. You weren't aware of this information, but now you do know, which gives you the ability to make considered decisions by realizing that they don't have your best interest in mind. Because once they've done all of these things to you, it wakes you up and then there's no going back because you will never see them the same way ever again once you've realised what you're actually dealing with. It gives you the ability to recognise and deal with their gaslighting. But when you see them for who they really are, they will immediately sense it. Because their usual tactics will no longer be effective on you. So then they will try a different approach. Because they don't want you to have them all figured out. They don't want you to see them for who they actually are. So they will try to convince you that you have a distorted perception and that you're seeing things the wrong way. They will manipulate you or they will intimidate, threaten and coerce you into submission because they just want you to go back to being ignorant and naive so that they can continue to exploit you. But they might struggle to do that if you see them for who they really are. Which is why they hate it when you see the real them. And it's why they want you to see them how they want you to see them. When the narcissist knows you figure them out, they're not going to come clean. They're not going to confess their sins. They're not going to do any of that. They're just going to manipulate you differently and they might change their personality which means that their behaviours and treatment of you might change to mislead and confuse you but if that doesn't work they may lose their minds and they may become dangerous because then they will assume that you'd know all of the discreditable, dishonourable, wicked and immoral things they have done but just because you know that about them it doesn't mean that it's going to stop. They're just going to keep doing it because that's just how their disorder functions. So they're going to keep repeating the same behaviors 
whether you figure them out or not. They're not going to consistently change who they are. They're not going to work on themselves. Which is why it doesn't benefit them for you to know who they are. So they will try to lead you down the wrong path. Or make you think that you've got it wrong. By changing trivial things about themselves to catch you off guard. To make you think that you don't know who they really are. And to hinder your ability to predict what they're going to do next. Which is why once they know you're onto them. Things could change dramatically and in such a short space of time to where they may begin treating you differently or they may start becoming dangerous and even trying to harm you because the last thing they want is for you to be grounded and in a sane state of mind where you're able to see things as they actually are. They want you to be out of touch with reality. They want you to not know the truth because the truth is against them. Reality is against them. Which is why they will do anything in their power to keep you off balance. Because a person who is mentally and emotionally stable is a serious threat to them. That type of person has the power to disarm and expose them, which is the last thing they want. Because they want to continue manipulating and exploiting people for their own personal gain. So of course they don't want you to catch on. Of course they don't want you to make sense of what you're dealing with because that would be the end of them. It would threaten their false character and the illusion that they're trying to portray. Narcissists want to hide from the truth. They want to hide from the things that they've done by deceiving you and gaslighting you. Because they don't want to be caught out. Which is why when you start to catch on they will deny it. And then they will create a false narrative about you. And make sure that everyone knows about it. Because they want to hide from the truth about themselves. They don't want to engage with the truth because of what it says about them. While we may not want to engage with the truth because of the pain it makes us feel, but when we accept the truth of a situation, it will allow us to move forward with our lives. However, when you're dealing with a narcissist, there's always going to be some sort of game that they are playing, where they're competing with you and they're manipulating the situation in an unfair way. And when you start to identify the game that is being played, they will typically become very angry because they want to continue hiding what they're doing. So they want you to give in and surrender instead of holding them accountable, which they will typically achieve by yelling and screaming at you because then you may back down and just forget about it. So they will use anger to switch it around back onto you and make it your fault instead of it being their fault. So even though you may have all of the evidence in the world, they will always find a reason to be angry about something that you did, which in their minds absolves them of any accountability and means that they can do whatever they want to you without any consequences for their actions. It is always the same excuse with narcissists. It's never their fault. It's always because of you. They will always find a way to run from their own shame and embarrassment by attacking and projecting everything onto you so that you stop holding them accountable and then they don't have to feel bad about themselves because that's not in line with their false image. And the false image is everything to a narcissist. If you threaten that or if they know that you know about narcissism, they could become dangerous, which means that you need to be very careful. You may think you've figured it out and then you're ready to confront them, but then things could escalate very quickly 
and they may even become violent because their false image is everything to them. It's all that they have. So if they feel like their false image is being threatened, it's like a life or death situation. They will feel like they're in a fight for their lives and they will do things you've never seen before. Things that you never imagined them to be capable of. Because narcissists have no limits. They will do anything in their efforts to subdue you to protect their false image. Because of their rage, their feelings which can change at any moment, which is why you need to be very careful. But sometimes they may act like they don't care because they want to minimize what they've done. And that's something you really need to be worried about because that means they have no limit to what they're going to do and things will get worse very quickly while they are gaslighting you and leaving you confused because they want to make you look crazy. They want to make it look like you don't understand what is happening. And typically narcissistic abuse victims do look crazy in front of other people because they're manipulating and gaslighting you and they're giving you the silent treatment so that to everyone else you look insane while they're acting like they don't care. As long as you stay and you keep putting up with it. Because as long as you do that to them it doesn't really matter. Which is why they will typically manipulate and gaslight you. So that they can prevent you from figuring them out. They will deny that it ever happened. They will act dismissive. To make you doubt what you know to be true. Because you've seen enough evidence already. To know what is going on. But to them it doesn't matter. They can just pretend like it never happened. They can act like it had nothing to do with them. And when they're doing that. It means that they know that you know. And they don't care. Even though you know what you saw. And you know what you heard. They're not trying to make reality make sense to you. Their goal is to make you doubt reality, to make you think that it never happened, or as though it wasn't intended to be harmful, as though it wasn't that bad. Because they want to keep you locked in. They want to keep you stuck. By minimizing the things that they're doing to you, which is something that narcissists always do, even while they're triangulating you with other people, and they're smearing your name. They still want you to minimize it. They want you to think that it's not that bad. And if you do threaten to expose them, they can become vengeful and violent, which is why you do need to be very careful, especially if you try to accuse them of being a narcissist. Because typically, they will try to spin it around on you. They will convince you that you are the narcissist. Despite everything that they've done to you. Because narcissists won't even accept a single occasion where they've lied or been dishonest. So they're never going to let you label them as a narcissist. They're never going to let you convince them of that. So they're never going to seek help or decide to change. Instead, they will try to convince you that you are the one who is crazy and needs help. And even if you believe it and you embark on a journey to fix yourself, they will typically try to sabotage your attempts because they don't want to see you heal and move on. They want you to accept this hypothetical condition that they have imposed on you and also remain in that state for the rest of your life so that they can continue believing that it's you and not them. Because if you were to go off and fix everything that they imply to be wrong with you, that would mean that it is them and they don't want it to be them. Which is why they won't even confront trivial things that they've done wrong 
because then that would open the floodgates to everything else that they've done. And then it might bring up things from their past that they've done not only to you but to everyone else and that would just be too overwhelming for them. Which is why they will typically deny any wrongdoing and blame you. Because as I've said in one of my earliest videos, if you wrote down all of your wrongdoings, you could write it on a single sheet of paper. While for them to write down all of their wrongdoings, they would require a book the size of the Bible. Which is why they typically resort to manipulation and gaslighting instead. Because otherwise, they just wouldn't know where to begin. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Share your thoughts in the comment section. Hit the subscribe button to receive the notifications. If you would like to support the channel, you can donate at paypal.me slash narcsurvivor. You can book a one-on-one -on -one with me on my website. It's narcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.